March means the Muskoka Queer Film Festival is coming up once again. This is the second year of this annual film festival. Last year affected uh, quite heavily by COVID, unfortunately, but was still able to run. And again, we're going to get to see some great films this year as it's running virtually. Uh, joining me today to talk a bit more about this is Muskoka Pride's Sean Forth. Sean, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, chat with us today about this amazing event coming up. Yeah, it's great to be here, James. I'm really excited about the event. It's, it's our second annual. Yes, it's, you know, uh, the first one was great. I had some really awesome films uh, played during that festival. And I think I've seen the lineup, some of the lineup for this year, and it, it looks pretty interesting. But let's let's jump back to the first year, Sean, because I know um, there was quite, uh, you know, quite a change of plans suddenly when it came to running this festival. Yeah, we were supposed to be doing this the film festival last year live at the Ring Case Theater, and about eight days before it was scheduled to happen, uh, COVID happened, and we had to postpone and then do a complete pivot and tr turn our little film festival into a virtual film festival, and uh, we were able to attract people from actual viewers from different countries around the world, and we were still able to screen all the 13 films we had last year. So uh, obviously uh, the virtual side of this is continuing this year because COVID is still a thing a year later. Um, so why don't you kind of run me through, Sean, what we can expect this year, um, how things are going to run exactly, how can people get involved? Yeah. Well, I, I'm really excited because, yeah, this year we planned it as a virtual film festival from the get-go. Uh, we actually had more film entries from even more countries. We expanded our jury. And uh, we were able to select 19 films to take to, for, for the film festival this year. In fact, we had to add an additional screening time because there was one film we just couldn't find a way to, to fit into the established blocks of time, but we just didn't want to let it go. So we're actually going to be having four separate uh, film screenings over the, over the course of the weekend. So people will be registering. Uh, they can go to mqff.ca. That's the Muskoka Queer Film Festival's website. From there, they can click the link to get tickets. And when they when they purchase tickets through Eventbrite, they'll be given a code, and they'll be uh, they will then add themselves to a private Facebook group, and that's where we'll be screening all the films over the course of the weekend. Oh, that's fantastic! So, Sean, tell me a bit about some of these films. I mean, um, you know, so, there's quite a few in the lineup here, but any that are really sort of standing out to you right now? Anything that you're looking forward to specifically? There are a ton that are standing out for me. I, I love the fact that we have so many foreign films. We have films from 11 different countries, including three from Canada that are going to be screened this year. Uh, one that I'm really looking forward to is from the UK. It's called Abomination. It is a documentary. And it, what it is, is it, it two years ago, marriage equality became a thing in Northern Ireland. And uh, a, a theater group decided to put together an opera. All the lyrics in the opera were from some far right wing uh, political parties. So it just put a new light on some of the anti LGBTQ uh, rhetoric that had been used by over the over decades by this party. And it's a, just a really fascinating uh, film to watch. And also the opera is quite amazing. And then to realize all of it is hate speech, but turned on its ear uh, <laughs> for everyone's enjoyment. That's one that I'm really looking forward to just because it's so unique to watch. Uh, we have some great films uh, coming from Canada, one called Queer Isolation. It's really neat that there are two of the films are actually based upon the, being in the, in the pandemic. And uh, one thing that we've noticed over the last year is that a lot of the, the queer community has really been affected deeply by, uh, by, by, the, by the need to isolate and uh, to socially distance. It's really hard necessarily to find other people within your community. And so it's neat that two of the films were very much based upon that. So in, in Queer Isolation, which was filmed in Barrie, which is, makes a very nice local story as well, uh, a, a, trans, a trans youth has to move back home because their job uh, was cut due to the pandemic. And of course, at home, their family does not recognize their transition. And so dead names them, which is to use your name prior to transition. And it's looking at uh, the challenges faced by the individual, but also what it's like to date during COVID, which was, so it, it, it's quite a neat film. I'm really looking forward to that one as well. That's, I mean, these, these both sound fantastic to me. And there, there was a few others I saw in there that looked quite interesting as well. Sean, um, you know, there's an obvious meaning behind uh, the Muskoka Queer, and Fe Queer Film Festival. Uh, but if you, I was hoping you could kind of outline to me the, the purpose of this and why it, it was felt um, that Muskoka Pride wanted to run these film festivals. Well, honestly, for several years, we've been incorporating a film night as part of our 
week in July, our, our Pride Week, we would we would air two or three short films and just as a gathering to share stories, share with community. Uh, and we've always wanted to be able to do a, a proper film festival. Uh, two years ago, we received a federal grant from the uh, through uh, from the government of Canada through what's called the Canadian Experiences Fund. And one of our priorities was to be able to create this film festival. We, the funding was supposed to end last year, but due to COVID, we were actually able to fund our film festival for a second year. So we're really excited about that. And uh, it's, it's a chance for us to gather virtually, which uh, as community and just share stories, learn from each other and just engage and, and coexist. What was the response like for, for last year's film festival, Sean? I think a lot of people weren't sure what it was going to be like to have a virtual film festival. People were kind of questioning it. Uh, the comments we got mostly were at the, amazed at the quality of the films, the, the, because we're doing it through Facebook, so they have algorithms that allow for a, a good steady buffering and so on of the video. So the film quality was extremely high. We were able to have ongoing discussions during the film. So people, as they're watching, they can type in the chat and we, we had little conversations going on. And for me, the true highlight last year was every single night we had Q and A's with filmmakers and directors of the films that had screened that evening. So we're actually, we're following the same model this year. So we are, we are planning four Q and A's over the course of the weekend to basically discuss different themes related to queer cinema or queer life along with the directors of the films that day. All right, well, Sean, uh, I'd love to pick your brain more about this, but we do have to go to break again. I just wanna give you an opportunity one last time, just give us uh, the rollout here, the dates yep. and how people can get involved yep. again. Yep, so the film festival is gonna be uh, March 19th, 20th and 21st. People can go to mqff.ca to purchase tickets. T tickets are a donation, pay what you can. Uh, we recommend a $25 donation and you'll be sent a code to add yourself to the private MQFF uh, Facebook group. And that's where we'll be st streaming our movies over the course of the weekend of March 19th to 21st. Fantastic. Well, I, I, I believe I'm going to be involved in this too. I'm really looking forward to some great films this year. Sean, thank you so much uh, for taking the time to tell us about this great event coming up. And we look forward to more of the Queer Film Festivals coming in the future as well. Thanks again. Thank you so much, James.